Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Thanks to Dodo for this one. Amy plays a giant tortoise while her graveyard contains a Sword of the Meek. Does Sword of the Meek trigger and return to the battlefield? Alright, so in order to answer this question, we'll take a look at Giant Tortoise and we'll notice that it has a continuous effect that gives it plus zero plus three as long as it's untapped. Now, the important thing about continuous effects as it relates to this question is that they apply, well, continuously. That is, there's no point in time at which the Giant Tortoise is on the battlefield where it's not getting plus zero plus three from its ability. And so what that means is that immediately after the giant tortoise enters the battlefield, when the game is checking to see if what just happened caused any triggered abilities to trigger, it's going to see that there's a 1-4 creature that's entered the battlefield. Because there's no point in time at which the tortoise was 1-1, that means that the trigger condition from Sword of the Meek was not fulfilled, and that triggered ability will not trigger. Maybe Amy might want to try fixing this problem by, for example, playing a twiddle on her tortoise in order to tap it. And that sort of seems like it could work, but unfortunately it wouldn't. You see, there's no point in time in between when the tortoise enters the battlefield and when the game checks to see what its power and toughness was where a player has opportunity to cast a spell. And what that means is that by the time Amy gets an opportunity to cast the twiddle, the point in time where the game has checked the power and toughness of the giant tortoise is already passed. And so she's missed her opportunity. So is there anything we could do? Well, maybe Amy is fighting an uphill battle against Nick, and if that's the case, then Nick's uphill battle would make the giant tortoise enter the battlefield tapped. Now, the important thing about this is that that would be a replacement effect. It completely replaces the event of giant tortoise entering the battlefield with giant tortoise entering the battlefield tapped. And with that being the case, there's no point in time at which the giant tortoise is on the battlefield and also untapped, which means that there's no point in time where its continuous effect is giving it plus zero plus three. That means that immediately after the tortoise enters the battlefield, when the game is checking to see what its power and toughness is, it will indeed see that Giant Tortoise is a 1-1, and that means that the triggered ability from Sword of the Meek will trigger. That means Amy would be able to get the Sword of the Meek back attached to Giant Tortoise in this situation. Maybe Nick doesn't like this, and maybe he's got his own twiddle that he can play against the tortoise to untap it and make it get the plus zero plus three. Would this work? And unfortunately, it would not. The reason for this is because at the time when Nick first gets an opportunity to cast spells, that's again past the point where the game checks to see what the power and toughness of the giant tortoise is, just like in the previous example. So what that means is that the first time that Nick has an opportunity to play the twiddle, the triggered ability from Sword of the Meek is already on the stack. And there isn't any stipulation on that triggered ability that says the creature has to stay being a 1-1. As long as the creature is a 1-1 at the time when that triggered ability triggers, that's all the game cares about. So Nick certainly could play the twiddle and untap the tortoise in response, but that wouldn't actually do anything. The triggered ability from Sword of the Meek would continue to resolve completely normally, and it would still return to the battlefield attached to Giant Tortoise if you were to do that. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.